and now we can talk about the distortion, the howl function. So let's see, let's turn that up. And so this is the first thing, I have all the voices down. The noise is crazy. There is a whole bunch of digital noise in here. Uh, the digital circuits sit right underneath this uh, howl function, so right where you have the most gain pickup. So, and a lot of that is power supply noise underneath here is the power supply. And maybe when it's in its final resting point, it's away from each other enough that it doesn't pick this up. But I severely doubt that. So the power supply is also a DC switching power supply, both on the power brick that supplies it, which they don't filter. That just becomes one of the rails. I mean, they have a small filter, but like, it doesn't go through any linear regulators or anything. And then they create a negative rail with another supply, another switching supply. So you really have two pretty noisy supplies going into here. So as expected though, you do get more noise with a distortion effect, but this is a little crazy. I probably have to back this down, but let's turn up and see how this sounds. All in all, it sounds okay. Again, the range is a bit, a bit odd on it. distorted bass drum and let's see how it sounds on some of the other ones like the snare and again the and anything past half it's just crazy crazy amounts of noise It does sound okay. With a minimal amount of noise. But as soon as you start adding the noise into the mix, it, ah, it just becomes painful. <laughs> God, this is insane. All right, so. Again, with any noise, it. And that's one of the other issues here is that you can't selectively use the howl function with just one of the channels. So they all go in. And finally,
So with the, the synth, it's pretty good. off so all in all there are some interesting sounds within this but I have a couple of overarching complaints one is that the knobs are essentially just the wrong type of knobs they are mostly linear knobs when a lot of them should be logarithmic knobs or audio knobs so you have kind of like a, a better sweep of the range you know you don't spend a whole bunch of time in sections where you don't really care about even though Maybe you do want to have a bit of that really high noise or really high distortion. At some points, you want to be able to get up there, but you want to spend most of your time in the lower ranges. So the analog knobs are way better for that. And also, even without that, some of the ranges are either too much or too little. So another main complaint is just the noise. And we already went over the digital power supply pickup. but So this is with... I'm just going to... I'm going to turn the distortion all the way down, so that's not part of it, right? Turn the mix full up. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each voice one time and just raise it into the mix. Not so bad, you don't hear much. Adds a little, but not so bad. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's coming in pretty strong in my headphones, especially if I turn the noise mix up. And again, no notes are playing right now, and this is the noise level. So I'm going to turn the noise mix back down. That's ridiculous. Again, that one. So we increase the noise mix. There's a background hiss that comes in. And again, not so bad. So basically, if a voice has noise in it, that noise is going to come through the mix, whether that note is playing or not. So that is the basic rundown. If you're interested in hacking or fixing your Akai Rhythm Wolf. Uh, take a look in the section below. There will be a link to a forum thread where the schematics are posted and hopefully other people are working on modding theirs. And the next thing I'm going to do is have a B video shot after I've made modifications. And I'm going to do a series of different B videos, I think, with different types of modifications. I want to do ones where you just change part components. So it'd be like a, if you can do SMT soldering, you can just pop different resistors in or take parts out to change and hopefully improve the sound. Then other ones where you have to like cut pot legs and run wires and do some more complicated mods. So I did the audio mix left, right with the synth in both channels and the uh, vocals just in the right. So if you want, you can not have to hear me talk and you can listen to just the sounds and you get a better feel for how it actually sounds. Yeah, thanks so much.